The Mercedes-Benz Superdome is hosting the 64th annual New Orleans Home and Garden Show, where thousands of businesses come to show their art and home and garden living to local homeowners. Now, news for the water situation have actually been mostly positive. Mayor Lori Bell has issued an administrative order telling licensed water workers to clean up the pipes as quickly as possible. The Lafayette Police Department is working with Girard Park to heighten security in response to the increase in homelessness around the city of Lafayette. They are planning to add cameras around the pond and also adding on-duty officers in the early mornings. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards signed a law last year restoring voting rights for ex-felons on parole with good behavior for five years. The law will be active on March 1st, but state officials are having trouble clarifying the number of One of our, our mottos is soup, bring him in with soup, um, soap, and salvation. Jerry Brown has been working with the Salvation Army for eight years. He says it's important to get people off the street. And found that this was one of my callings at that point in time, come back to the Salvation Army full time and come on staff. Uh, salad, green, something like that for every meal. For the last few years, the Salvation Army has undergone a makeover, including a bigger cafeteria, private bathrooms, and more beds for the homeless. Everyone deserves dignity. Okay? Life on the street's hard. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. What we try and do here is provide a refuge, a safe place. They can come in here, they can get a hot meal. While helping others has been Brown's goal, he has seen the fate of those consumed to the life on the streets. I'd known this one individual, and no names, and he was a decent man, but he was addicted to the streets. He was like right on the cusp of wanting to get in the program. And he'd say, yeah, but not yet. Across the street behind the house in the alley, died of an OD. For Brown, the harsh reality is no reason to stop. You know, getting up at 2.30 every single morning, putting in sometimes an 18-hour day, uh, gets tiring physically, mentally, and emotionally. In that time in the mornings when I'm with God, walking with Him and talking with Him, I just get this inner strength, and I'm, I'm renewed. For Acadiana News 1, I'm Andre Aguilar. One of the great shows that brings people in from the region to look at things for remodeling at home. I'm just uh, here to kick off the show. It's been a busy weekend for Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser as he visits New Orleans for the Home and Garden Festival to kick off his campaign for re-election. You know, we're preparing ourselves for a tough run. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some people looking at that race, but we'll be ready. While Nungesser did not name specific hopeful governor candidates, he said the race will be a close one as he expects a bigger turnout than the last election. So if you've got a lot of passionate candidates running statewide or in certain areas, whether it's good or bad, ideas or thoughts, uh, that'll drive turnout in, in those areas. And while the lieutenant governor says that his campaign funds are low, he has high hopes that his re-election campaign will pick up momentum over the next few months. Statewide, it's a little tough if you're not all in the race, but I think you'll see some other people getting in a lot of races. For Acadiana News 1, I'm Andre Aguilar. Folks don't get very surprised in the town of Clinton, Louisiana. So you could imagine the shock of the year when Clinton Mayor Lori Ann Bell turned herself in back in January for malfeasance and mishandling the funds for the water department. The mayor received uh, a certified letter order from the health department, state health department, um, demanding that she comply with uh, certain standards of the health department and she did not do that. Greg Ferris, East Feliciana's chief criminal deputy, said the mayor had been receiving many complaints by the residents for months about the state of their water and Bell did not respond accordingly. We've had numerous complaints from the um, public in Clinton about the quality of the water and about um, the, the, the fact that the water has had to be cut off a number of times. Now, news for the water situation have actually been mostly positive. Mayor Lori Bell has issued an administrative order telling licensed water workers to clean up the pipes as quickly as possible. Well, our role in this is simply to determine if her actions were criminal and to act 
in accordance with the law if there are criminal violations. For Acadiana News 1, I'm Andres Aguilar.